bum ba da bum ba 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 bum ba da bum ba da ba da ba bum ba da ba ba da ba da ba 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 I've not, I've not something over. Is that what Formation Man would do? Probably. Formation Man! Ba 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 ba. God damn it. This Lynx can has driven me mad. The worst thing is it's Adidas. So, embarrassing. Hello there, welcome back to an episode of The Sulfur Story, it's me, Dr. Benji FM, if you're enjoying this video so far, drop a like on it and let's get into it. Now, as I've uh, we started on this screen, the fixture screen, the schedule screen, since we last met in the 2-0, well the, the double 2-0 defeat, uh, we won a game, we lost a game, we won a game, we lost a game, yeah. So we beat Sunderland and we beat Tottenham, amazingly, Tottenham having a fantastic season and we beat them, I will show you the goal that we beat them with, um, let's go to that now. It was an 87th minute own goal, they've had most of the game. This is great. I mean, I would show you the goal, but it's not. Well, I mean, look, this is not a good. This is, I don't, what's happened to this game? All right, let's let's try again. Let's look for this again. Show me the goal. I mean, it just won't show me the goal. Bloody hell! But yes, a uh, two-one defeat to QPR and a, I mean, a two a two-nil defeat to Reading is just infuriating. But below us in the league table, and they beat us. We are four point four points off relegation. We're about 10 points off the top five, top four, don't know why I said five like that, and the injuries are piling up. Today, then, we face up against uh, Hull City and Nottingham Forest. Two games that, honestly, we should win. And I've enlisted the help of, uh, well, as formation man, it's my job to look at all the formations available to me. So, this will give you a clue. Yeah, so, that's what we're going to use today. I'll introduce you to it. Now, I mentioned this a lot, but if you didn't see Parma Drama, this will be unfamiliar to you. But it's a formation that was extraordinarily successful for me as Parma manager. And uh, the problem being today that, every, as you can see, every single player is unfit for today's match, which is nice. Uh, Seri, Sandoval, Igor, Peter and Callum Humphreys all are injured. So that's another good thing for, about the uh, formation today. And yeah, it's a problem. A problem will overcome but a problem. Now, admittedly, what we could do today is not play this formation and play Luke Shaw at left back and drop Vidal because he's injured. Now, if we take or injured, sorry, unfit, same goes for Kendall Peters. James Taylor, our youngster, our regenerated youngster, is on the bench. What might even feature today, if need to be. We're, we're running low on strikers. Uh, but yeah, this is what we're going into today's games with. Hopefully, we can get something from this. If you've never seen this formation before, these are the instructions for it. I've had to go over to Parma Drama, to FM15, and think, right, what did we do in that? Because that worked. So that's what we're going to try. Hopefully, it'll work. This is what we played. It was a defensive, flexible system that could uh, go into control at any point. And yeah, if, you didn't, uh, if you've seen Parma Drama, you'll know how good this is. If you haven't seen Parma Drama, you're thinking, what the f this is another one pick the same one all the time you make a good point so hull in the first game yes diego vidal hasn't got any fitness but i don't really have any choice so he has to play uh, and kendall peters also struggling up front not our strongest 11 i might say but when you're playing the palmer drama formation and it i don't think i can even number nine we'll give him 27 which is a multiple of nine which i think is fair so hull city then uh in 12th place a win today would actually climb us above them and a few wins on the ballot if we win both games today we're laughing by the way, it's January at this point, and uh, there's a there's a signing we'll talk about after this game, which pixie levels of excitement. If you saw the Swindon, I mean, so I'm referencing a lot of old things right now. Let's let's focus on the here and now. Come on, calmly say, come on, lads, show what you can do, and then I'm going to go with the calmer approach of uh, you know, look, this is fine. Calm was something I used to do a lot back in the day. I, I've forgotten it recently in recent years. I've gone very passionate. Passion is not what these players need. They need a, a calm approach. So come on then, can my second string, which is playing because of injuries and fitness concerns, pull out a result against Hull City today? Let's find out. Again, completely unfamiliar with this. So, um, I mean, we have to stick with something. Do we stick with this? Hold, hold on this left-hand side. Ball played into the middle. Bonazzoli cleared. Blimey, Charlie. Like, once we get used to this, once we get to the, used to the Italian way of playing football, not much else can go wrong. It's, it's, short, it's a short passing, possession-based tactic where the idea is to work it into the box. Float those crosses in for the strikers up front. I mean, probably not ideal when Kendall Peters is your striker, but if Jeff Thomas whips in a ball, not the greatest of deliveries, but can we pick up the second ball? No. But you can see we've got a lot of men back. We're defensively very solid now. The whole deal of players such as 
Deli Alley, he will be able to pull the strings for them in the middle. As they come down to the left-hand side, Asnar plays it into Taylor. Taylor to Oost, to Burgess, to Bonazzoli. Out to this left-hand side, Azai again. I'm, I'm very concerned. Woodman, how has that got in? How has, he, how has Gary Woodman squeaked that in? I'm not... That's despicable. So the ball comes out to the left-hand side. I mean, is Marky Parky to blame for this mess? Woodman, he can't score from there. What's he done on the floor? Why did he go down so early? Bloody hell. Might put it in control. Because that was that was the backup plan if things went wrong. Diego Vidal is nearly dead. And we're not even at half time yet. Free kick to Hull. Ball played in. It's just... Uh shit in it so the free kick well, I mean, you saw what just happened we'll watch it in 3d for the sake of it taylor at the back post 2-0 i mean uh, okay so vidal's gonna have to come off we're just gonna i mean I've, i'm moment to uh, i'm gonna have to just get rid of the plans luke shaw come on at least our team is a bit fitter now luke shaw on the pit I'm just I'm, I'm a broken man folks i'm broken i want to say oh here comes the comeback but i know i know what's happening here you know what's happening here. It's 4-0. Ball played through. Woodman on it. Park with a good save. Stayed on his feet for a little bit longer this time and made it actually possible to save, which was good. I should, I should, I should say again, this is our second team by a distance. But if you lose games like this, you just fall off the pace ridiculously. Like, we're going to be so far behind sort of the middle pack if we lose this. It's, it's getting to a point where... Ellie bought me a candle recently, right? She, she obviously has been watching the series. Bonazzoli with the penalty is going to score. Forget it. Forget what I was going to mention to you with that there. This is game on. This is this is a time to shine. Ross from Friends on this left-hand side. Ball through towards Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw, he's dabbed in there. Shaw to Peters. Peters with a goal. And we're back in the game. Solfers, one. Hull, two. And the most basic formation I've played for about three months is working wonders. Luke Shaw, the second half substitute. Ball in. Kenel Peters, he won't miss from there and can't miss from there. He fires home. And it's 2-1. It's and we're back in the game. Right, Kendall Peters, though, struggling for fitness. I think we'll give, we'll give him 10 more minutes and then I might even bring James Taylor on, you know. Okay, we'll see what happens with this highlight. If it goes well for us, well, whatever happens, we probably make the change. <laughs> Let's face it, Ben. Don't, don't lie to the people. Hull, with a, well, it's a loose ball out to this right-hand side and Jeff Thomas picks it up. Lovely through ball towards Kendall Peters. Headed back, though, and, and Dazelle nearly gets there. Now, Jeff Thomas, can we work an opening? Come on, I mean, this formation might be the, might be the future for us. Who knows? Luke Shaw, ball forward, Russian friends. He's never getting there, which is a shame. And uh, Hull look like they're going to be able to clean this up. But I'll tell you what, the ball out's not particularly good. Luke Shaw, if you can apply some pressure... Ah, oh, for God's sake. I was getting my hopes up. You started to believe as well. And now he's going to go down the line. Cross it in. 3-1 hull. Well done to them. We're shit. Well, ah, ha, ha. Hilarious. Bloody hell. James Taylor. Look, if James Taylor comes on, this could be his Danny Graham moment. Taylor on. I mean, 3-1 down to hull. Tull. I mean, I'm now putting my faith in a 17-year-old. So this is going to go well. It's the highlight after their goal. So it could go well for us. What's through friends? Ball in. James Taylor. That was his first touch in the Salford shirt. It could have been a goal. Luke Shaw, the, the, the attack continues. My good grief. What about his second touch? Will that be the goal? Who knows? I mean, actually, they technically would have done a kickoff. So it wouldn't have been his first touch. But one of the one of the first touches as uh, Kogan Hayek gets tackled. Backhouse heads forward to Thomas. Jeff Thomas. It's just It just filters out to nothingness. You might remember last episode I said I was going to do the Reading and Hull match because of the impending transfer that's coming up. I've actually forgotten that. We played it because I wanted to try and progress the transfer. It hasn't happened yet, but will most likely happen in between these days. Oh, we've got to go back, which means absolutely it's all. Jeff Thomas with it. 3-2. I mean, it's good for our relegation goal difference. Ball headed back across. Jeff Thomas. What a leap. I mean, it's going to have to be the quickest counter-attack of all time right now. Parkey, let's go. 15 seconds. One, one kick over the top. Or to Jeff Thomas, who's going to nearly put it out of play. It's not great. They're through, actually, which is a bizarre twist. And it ends. Sol for two. Hole three. What happens if I get sacked? There's going to be a board meeting soon, isn't there? There's definitely going to be a board meeting soon. Not now. Please not now. Okay, we've survived. Oh, Holsher. We've got some money for Holsher. I mean, I could do with him right now. <clears throat> Things were better when he was here. Okay, next game coming up against Notts Forest. If it develops in between, there'll be some transfer news and you'll be the first to know about it. You know the system. I will then, yeah. And I'll say this much. It doesn't happen yet. He comes in the summer. Unless I buy him early. And Tobo's been called up for uh, international duty. 
He's still here. Probably should play him at this point. He was actually quite good when he played. Maybe I should bring him back into the fold. I want a transfer update. Why well, haven't I got a transfer update yet? Player I want is wanted by loads of big clubs. I mean, shall I just show you him for the sake of it? Ross from Friends has got a fractured rib. Of course he has. Three months out. I mean, what is going on this season? I will say, right, we've been shit. But our injuries this year have been an absolute pain in the ass. Okay, this is the man that I am trying to bring in on a free transfer. Zarubek Kursinov is the guy from Metalist. I'm, I'm thinking we might be able to get him in. He's 19 years old, uh, 19 years old, Ukrainian. And, I mean, I like the look of him a lot. The issue is he's had, he's had loads of offers. And when I say loads of offers, I mean loads of offers. I'm changing my offer. I'm changing my offer immediately. We're upping it by 5,000. I mean, I want him this much. Add clauses right now. Ben, you can't let this one go. You cannot let this one go. This is too important to let go. Get him in the team immediately. Goal bonus, 9,000. I must be offering him the best contract of any team. First team player. I'm, I'm upping that as well. <laughs> that, I want him here. Is that him? Is he is he coming here or going? Key player. I've offered him key play. Come on, he's he's got to come to me. I'm offering them in the best contract of any of those clubs. The thing is, will we find out in today's episode? Will it tease to next episode? I just don't want to see that he signed for someone else. This is the fear now. I just don't want to see. Oh, he signed for Real Madrid. Oh, has he? Brilliant news. We play Forest in two days. Make this happen. This is some live January news right now. I'm so nervous. Every time I get more news, I'm nervous that it'll have just gone somewhere else. Come on, please be here. Please be here. This is my 700th game. That's good. Offers made for Eckhart. Well, hang on. Let's find out what they were. What were they? Just rejecting it out of hand. Oh, he's free free transfer. Okay. He's been loyal, but we can upgrade. Barcelona have bid for Fankhauser. Millwall have bid for Nash. Slightly different fees there. 118 million. 134,000. I'm going to reject the Fankhauser bid. Let me know. Would you accept? I mean, this is a very niche thing to ask you all. Would you accept that Fankhauser bid? We don't know about the transfer. Right, I'm playing on today until we find out about it. This episode could be two hours long. You'll know it's not at this point. Okay, this is more of a first team and a team that I think is very capable of winning its Nottingham Forest within the Palmer formation. I'm actually going to start in a standard uh, setup and then move out from there. So, Parky and goal. Kovacs, Fankhauser, Jao Paulo, Eckhart and Vidal just in front. Tiedemans in the centre midfield automatic roll uh, Trickletista and Peter Phillips Jeff Thomas on the right Barry on the left and Sandoval through the middle which is a massive risk the reason it's a massive risk is that he's out of fitness and he's not actually scored a goal this season could this be the game I'm hopeful come on Sandoval you've got to get a goal he scored in Europe but he scored in nothing else I'm going for the calm approach again the calm approach will get this done look at that right Sandoval's got a half to score or he's off come on I need a win I need a win you need a win <laughs> Just give me another win. Colombino, I remember you. Diego Vidal fouls his man after a minute. I think with this personnel, we can win the game. And I think we can win it easily as well. Barry, on this left side, into Vidal. A good start. We'll get things ticking nicely. Eckhart, out to Thomas now. On this right side, can he get a ball into the middle? Takes in his man. Sandoval, he wants it. Sandoval, oh my God, he scored. The Palmer formation makes strikers' dreams come true. Do you remember, Monnier? Some of you won't do. So you can see here then, Jeff Thomas, the, the speed of Jeff Thomas, he's ridiculous for a man that played in League 2. Ball in, Sandoval, looks like he's handled that. I've got a big, he looks like he's punched it in. We'll take it, we'll take it. Maravanel, I mean that's what I think Maradona and Sandoval would be. Corner kick, Tiedemann's with it, ball whipped in, oh head of clear instantly. And now, I would say the break is probably on here. He's got a lot of room to run into. Will he get the support he needs though? The counter attack is real here, folks. Can we stop the ball? Chapman, Kovacs with a great tackle. Clearance and uh, oh, what, maybe a counter to the counter. Sandoval, ball at his feet. Oh my God. Look at his, no, never mind. Barry, down this left-hand side, trooping forward. This is the same highlight from before. Ball with Tim Thomas at the back post. Oh, Jeff Thomas! What a ball in from Barry. And the good times are back at Salford City. Yes, Nottingham Forest the 19th, but forget about it. Barry has done wonders. I thought this was going out. I thought he was just going to run it out. He whips it in with gusto. And Jeff Thomas, back post. Again, doesn't look like he's necessarily headed that in. But we'll take it. 2-0 to the good. Nottingham Forest are on the ropes. Okay, they're coming forward here. We've tapped penalty kick to Nottingham Forest. What? Every game at the moment. Every pigging game. I don't know what the problem is. I don't know what's happening. Number seven. Cool. Would you say that? Marky! It's a double save. He saved two in a bloody row. The good times are back. I'm telling you. The good times are back. I'll tell you what. I said Sandoval would be off at half time if he didn't score. He's got the goal. He's lacking in fitness, but he's growing in confidence. So we must keep him out. That's not like Gok Wan. What am I doing? 
Okay, 2 0 at half time. Calm. Calmly approach. I'm going to say, I'm very happy with the way things are going. Keep it up, lads. Look at that. We did a team meeting before the last game. Obviously, that didn't go so well. Uh, but things seem to be improving now. Happiness levels are, are rising. With every single goal we score, people, things can only get Weber. I and mean, we've not said that for a while. Barry, into the area. It's almost Peter Phillips cleared by Colombino. Another goal. Nerves will be settled. Look at the possession, by the way. The Palmer tactic in full effect. First time I've tried it on FM 16. Why is it taking till now? Barry driving down the left. Peter Phillips in that Trek Batista role. Switches it out. Uh, never mind. But look at the defensive like solidity we've got. How are they going to break through this? Chapman. I mean, where are you going to go, mate? Nowhere to go. Barry gets it back. Through ball, maybe. Sundervar wants it. Barry's just going on his own. It's a glorious solo run towards Peter Phillips. Phillips now. Out to Jeff Thomas. A 1-2, perhaps. Eckhart. Ball switch back across to Barry. Barry into the area. Barry! Barry! Oh, it Swiss sneaked his way in. I mean, it's been given as the own goal. Fair enough, but we'll take it. Salford 3, Forest nil. Oh, never mind Jamie Vardy. Salford are having a party. Barry here then. I mean, it does... Uh, oh, it's not good. It's not good goalkeeping. Don't care. Don't care. We're developing a Salford style of play. Corner out to Chapman. Oh, João Paulo. It's a brick wall right now. João Paulo is becoming an incapable passer of the ball. Like you give him this option out wide, but then you shut it down. Where are they going to go? Jeff Thomas, he's not going to let him go. The ball won't even come in. It's a good ball in. It's, it's a goal. It's a goal. It's a goal. Okay. Well, there are flaws to the tactic, obviously. Not every tactic can be perfect. I think that's the lesson we've learned today. We've definitely learned that today. Okay, time ticking down. Kendall Peters is going to come on for Sunderval, who's had a very, very good game for us today. Uh, Dazelle's going to come on for Tiemann's in the middle. T double change. Ten minutes to go. See this out now. 3-1. If we threw this away, my sadness levels are going to be through the roof. I should say 64% possession. Over 400 passes. Double the passes of the, of the Nottingham Forest team. We have been on fire. Can I, well done, everybody. Well done. Well done, me, from 2015. Because I've come up with this tactic, and it works. And this is the formation we will play till the end of the season. Probably until next episode. Nightingale Forest aren't very good. And I've said that about four times this year. We'll play this till the end of the season. Next episode changed it. Formation man! Sulfur 3, Forest 1. Formation man got it right today. Didn't get it right last game. Got it right today. Calm. Well done, lads. It was a good win for us. And everybody seems a little bit happier. Salford move up to the dizzy heights of 14th. Now, for this transfer. Marky Parky's penalty save, crucial. Thank how much to discuss his future. I've made my decision. I don't want to lose you. What's it going to take to keep you here? I want to play Champions League football. That's a shit. Look, wait for the players I'm bringing in. Wait for this guy. Look, uh, I can see I'm pretty powerless to stand your way. Um, I'll let you go at the end of the season. Oh, come on. That's fair. That is fair. Your stubbornness is going to cost you. I'm not going to be held to ransom. You've been way too stubborn. Shut up. You've been too stubborn. The squad are unhappy with the treatment of fan cows. Are they really? I've been here before. I've been aware where some of you are unhappy. I'm surprised you want him to go. Oh, 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 what a shock. Some of the morale of that, of that team is horrendous. Right. If it gets to the Southampton game, we won't see this transfer happen. But I'm hoping it happens before then. If we get him in, I mean... The series takes a step in the right direction. It's a signing that could change the series. Please sign him. Sporting! It's going to pick in Sporting for 6.75k a week! Sporting! How has he gone to Sporting? Sporting Lisbon? What? What? Guardiola. You f dick. Sporting Lisbon have got him. I can't believe this. Sport of all the teams he's rejected Madrid why are we on that list hang on why aren't we on there Sporting Lisbon you dickhead honestly I'm sick of you I could go to them then P Sporting come on I've oh, this pop fill is just taking a battering with the amount of times I've said Sporting end the episode god damn it if you enjoyed today's episode please leave a like if you want to see more subscribe to the channel I am writing a letter to, to someone I'm so angry what is that about 30 grand a week after him he's, he's taken 7 to play for Guardiola sickening so if you enjoyed the episode, please leave a like for us and subscribe to the channel. We love the care for me. Let's mention until next time. I am sick to my stomach. Goodbye. That was very cheery. I, f I faked that. I'm not happy at all.